Falei pessoal, aqui é o Thiago, nesse vídeo eu vou estudar inglês Então, faz tempo que eu não estudo inglês E eu quero fazer um vídeo aqui estudando inglês, né? Faz mais ou menos aí um ano que eu não estudo inglês Porque eu tô estudando russo no momento Então eu tô colocando o inglês um pouco de lado Mas esse vídeo vai ser em inglês, né? Eu vou tentar fazer ele 100%, não 100%, mas boa parte dele em inglês Então, de vez em quando eu vou falar português, tá? Pra vocês entenderem, alguma coisa assim, pessoal que não sabe inglês ainda, mas... A maior parte dele eu vou tentar fazer em inglês. Então, é a primeira vez que eu estou fazendo isso. Esse aqui é um vídeo teste. Uh, me fala aí nos comentários o que você achou. Alright, so now the video is going to be only in English. So, I'm going to study English. This is my Enki deck. My English Enki deck. So, first of all, I'm going to study a text 100% in English. But, uh, I first need to review my... To revise my Enki cards, alright? So... This is my Enki. I have not add I have not added any cards to it. So it's uh basically I have just a few cards uh 16 to be uh to be a, to to get I don't know. I just forgot the word. So let's do it. The patient complained of pain and tenderness in the chest. Tenderness. All right. I understand it perfectly. I got it. I'm not a poor worker. As a matter of fact, So, right now, I'm just trying to understand what is being said, right? So, I'm not trying to, uh, how to say it, I'm not trying to do anything else. I'm just trying to look at to look at it and understand it, all right? So, my English is a bit rusty because I have not studied it for quite a long time. As I said, I'm focusing on Russian right now. So, uh, yeah, my English is kind of weird. So, it's going to take me some time to to get it back at a point where I was. So I'm not I'm not a poor worker, as a matter of fact, I'm very efficient. Let's at do it. Moment, he heard Jill's key turning in the lock of the door. Got it. Locked. Go below. got it. The rock climbers use rope to pull up their climbing supplies on the cliff. I understand? We could hear the passengers screaming in terror. I understand? Most of the houses are I understand. I understand. These laws are necessary for juries to exist within a fair system, but the logical consequence is contentious. Contentious, contentions, all right. All right, these laws are necessary for juries to exist within within a fair system, but the logical consequences is contentious, all right. As luck would have it, we had a flat tire. As luck would have it, we had a flat tire. Flat tire, um pneu furado, né? All right. I'm filling in for the receptionist at the moment. I'm filling in for the receptionist at the moment. All right, let's move on. Lance, spit it out. Stop stringing me along. One of the first people to... The vase is in excellent condition except for a few... We're on a winning streak. Hopefully we can keep it up. Keep it up. The sparse line of spectators notice nothing unusual. We walk to the next beach to get away from the crowds. To get away from the crowd, I just... I added, actually, I I added these cards uh, today, all right? This one, right here. I I didn't know what it means, so I had to look it up. Now I got it. We hang out together after training. Nobody's in a rush to get away. Nobody's in a rush. That's a nice expression. Nobody's in a rush, all right? I wanted to get her away to somewhere safe. It was right. pleasant to sit down after standing for hours. This one here is actually a pretty common word, but for some reason I didn't recognize it, so there was kind of a trouble. I didn't know what it means, so I had to look it up again. I remember that I had looked it up uh, a long time ago uh, when, I, when I was studying English, but yeah, I just forgot it, so I had to look it up again. It's no, no, no problem, okay? You can do it. Uh, as many times as you want. Let's do it. Kids, will you stop arguing with each? We walk to the next beach to get away from the crowds. All right, so that's it. I just I just reviewed my Enki card, so now I'm going to study something new. All right. Então, galera, foi isso aí. Já revisei meu card, meu meus cards no Enki. Então agora eu vou uh, estudar um texto aqui, né? Vou pegar um texto aqui muito da hora. Uh, this is what I'm going to study, all right? So this is a a video, actually a song that is going viral lately. Um, 
it basically uh, tells us that we still got I mean we got 12 years left uh, to fix uh, this issue all right the issue that all of those global warming thing you know um, climate change so yeah we, we, we still got 12 years left uh, to fix it or otherwise we're fucked up <laughs> basically that's it yeah I, I recommend you to type here on YouTube uh, the earth song just like just like this just earth earth song earth song <laughs> and uh, you'll find it all right so I'm going to study it uh, whenever I see a word that I don't understand or an expression I'm going to look it up on these dictionaries all right this is my English monolingual dictionary so I'm going to look it up and I'm gonna learn it alright uh, so the method right now is to just understand something that I that I something that is unknown alright so if I don't understand something I want to get to understand it so I'm going to look it up and that's it alright let's see it let's see how it works as always you can comment any suggestion I'm just trying this out for the first time so you can just let me know what you think. Let me know what, what I can do better. And just reminding you that my just reminding you that my English is a bit rusty because I have not studied for a long time. As I said, I'm studying Russian right now. All right, so. Então vamos que vamos, galera. Earthlings. This is a nice word. Significa Earthlings, sei lá, terrestres, mais ou menos. Tem muita coisa em inglês que você não sabe dizer a tradução, mas você sabe o que ela significa em inglês, entendeu? Você pensa em inglês, você entende inglês, você consegue usar a palavra, você consegue entender, mas na hora que você vai traduzir, você não consegue. Acontece comigo direto. Então, não tem problema. Meu objetivo não é aprender a traduzir. Meu objetivo é aprender a entender e usar inglês. Alright, so I, I don't understand. I don't understand this word cub. I don't know what it means, but uh, I guess, like, I can say that maybe it means filhote in Portuguese. So I'm a lion cub. I would translate it as eu sou um filhote de leão. But I, I'm not sure. So I'm going to look it up. Alright, let's find out what it means. Cub. What the hell does it mean? Cub. Cub, cub. I'm a lion cub. A young bear, a lion, fox, etc. Yeah, that's exactly what I what I thought. A lioness warding her cubs. Her cubs like seus filhotes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let me look it up in this one. I'm a lion cub. And I am always getting licked. A cub is a small round container that is no, nope, that's not what I want to see. A large metal sports, all right. So. Mm -hmm. Cub, all right. A cub, I mean cub, not cup. All right, <laughs> all right. Got confused a little bit. A cub is a young wild animal such as a lion, wolf, or bear. A young wild wild animal. Three five week old five week old lion cubs. Alright, so I'm going to add this phrase to my Anki, alright? 
as I said, this is my English card, so I want to learn this word, cub, which means filhote in English. Alright, so uh, the, the definition is going to be in English, because I, I understand it, alright, so I don't need translation anymore. I'm studying Russian right now, and one of my goals is to understand monolingual definitions, all right? I want to avoid translation, but I, can, I can't do that in Russian yet. Oh, shit. Three fight, we called lion cups. Again. Three, five, we called lion cubs. Lion cubs. Cups. All right, I want to find one more example, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna type it here. All right, I didn't find any. Mm -hmm. Cup, cup. All right, I'm gonna a lion guarding her cups. Lioness. Cub. So here, I'm not going to add. An image, I could do that, but I'm not going to do that because, you know, it's pretty simple. I can understand it. So, I only add images if I, you know, if it is pretty hard to grasp the meaning. So, obviously, it's not this case. Então, galera, aqui não preciso colocar imagem, beleza? Tá muito fácil de entender, não precisa de imagem, só isso mesmo. Então, não vou perder muito tempo com essa palavra porque já aprendi ela. Então, vamos continuar. I'm always getting licked. Eu estou sempre sendo lambido. Então, vamos continuar. How is it going? I'm a cow. You drink milk from my from my tits. Fungus, fungus, fungus. Acho que significa fungo, né? Fungus. I'm a common fungus. I'm not sure, but I'm, you know, maybe. Let me look, let me look it up. Fungus, fungus. It probably means fungu, fungus, fungus. Fungus. All right, that's it. What the hell does that mean? This ground lid. This ground lid, this ground, I don't know what that means, alright, I'm gonna have to look it up, <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea, so, yeah, this ground to lid, this ground lid, I don't know, I have no, I have no idea, this ground lid, this ground lid, this ground lid annoyed or disappointed because something has happened to upset you. So I'm I'm a disgruntled shrunk. Shut you out, my. All right, lots of words I don't understand here. <laughs> disgruntled employees. I left feeling disgruntled at the way I've been treated. All right, so I'm gonna add this one because I like it more. This gruntlet. Alright, I also want to see how it is pronounced. Alright, so I want to see the pronunciation by a native speaker. By a native speaker. Cara, essa palavra aqui eu não faço ideia. Nunca tinha visto ela. Disgruntled. 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 Alright. Disgruntled. Disgruntled. Alright. Disgruntled. I'm always getting licked. Meow. Alright, so. I left feeling disgruntled at the way I've been treated. Galera, nesse canal aqui tem vários vídeos aí sobre como aprender idiomas. Se você não souber inglês e você não tá entendendo muito, só dá uma olhada nos outros vídeos que eu mostro como que eu tô estudando russo, tá? E esses vídeos são em, em português. Então, pra quem não estiver entendendo, vai lá ver os vídeos em português que vai dar tudo certo. I left feeling disgruntled. My head, I am always getting lit. This 
disgruntled. 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 All right, I need more examples because I still didn't understand it like a hundred percent. All right, so I need more examples. He's feeling very dis disgruntled with his boss, annoyed, disappointed. All right, she was rather disgruntled at the way she had been treated. I left feeling disgruntled at the way I'd been treated. Po police believe he was probably sabot sabotage. Employees, some minutes. I'm gonna research it. I'm gonna look it up in another dictionary. This one here. If you are disgruntled, you are cross and and dissatisfied because things have not have not happened the way that you wanted them to happen. All right, I like this explanation more. Disgruntled employees recently called for his resignation. Party members. All right, I'm gonna add this one. It's also impo important uh, to mention that you have to understand the whole phrase. All right, so you have to understand all of this. The only thing you cannot understand is this word because you are learning it. All right, so. Disgruntled employees recently called for his resignation. Disgruntled. 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 Oh shit. Disgruntled employees recently. All right, now I get it. All right, we have some synonyms here: discontent, dissatisfied, annoyed, irritated, irritated. I don't know what the hell is that. All right, so now I, now I understand it. I don't need more examples. So I'm a disgruntled shrug. I don't know what the hell is this. So let me look it up again. How does it? How do I type it? Sk sk cunt. I don't know. Skunk. All right. Skunk. All right. I don't know what it means. A small black and white and American animal that can produce a strong and pleasant smell. Oh yeah. I guess it means. I guess it, it means gamba. Eu acho que significa gamba. Hmm. All right. Now it makes sense. All right. No. Not actually. It wasn't what I thought. All right. Yeah. It is what I think. It is what I. Th what I. Never mind. So yeah, this is a shrunk shunk. I don't know what. All right, let me see how how to uh, say it properly. I don't know, so let me look it up. You drink milk from my tits. Skunk, skunk, skunk. Skunk, skunk. All right, so skunk means gamba. Aqui, galera, pra quem não sabe como se fala gambá em inglês, é assim, ó. Eu não sabia, sei lá, nunca precisei disso. Sou fluente em inglês, mas eu nunca precisei falar gambá. Então, pra que eu vou aprender essa palavra se eu não preciso dela, né? Então, tô aprendendo agora aqui, não sei porquê. Só porque eu tô fazendo um vídeo, né? Mas beleza. Então tá, aqui não tem nenhuma frase de exemplo. Vou ter que procurar uns exemplos aqui em outro lugar. Deixa eu ver aqui nesse. A skunk is a small... Cara, tá difícil de achar exemplos, hein? Quando tiver difícil, vem aqui, ó. Tatueba. Esse site aqui é fera. O que, que eu tô falando em português? Não sei. Let's go back to English. So this is English. Skunk. How do skunks scream?
skunks, skunks. Let me find a nice example word, example phrase, I mean. Uh, skunks fear neither dogs nor men. I like this one. Skunks. Skunks fear neither dogs nor men. Alright, so for this word, I don't need an explanation. Uh, because it is obvious, alright? I'm just going to put an image, and that's it. So, let me download uh, the correct pronunciation. Skunk. Skunk. And I came here, so I'm gonna teach you a trick. A tricky trick. Maybe trick. I'm gonna teach you a trick that I have learned by myself. Alright, so you pick up an image, you, you don't need to save it. Save it to your computer, alright? So you just click it. I'm gonna choose this one. Then you uh, you click right on it with the, with the right button. Then you come here. And you come back here. Alright, it didn't work. <laughs> Let me try again. Let me try again with another image. Maybe this one. So, do the same thing. Click it with the right button. Come here. Go back to Anki. Yeah, that's it. So, basically what I did, I just, you know, paste it right here. So, skunk. That's it. Skunk means gamba. I don't need more examples, but I'm going to add just one more. Alright, just one more. I swaved boy hitting a chunk. I Alright, I, I don't know this word. Seems interesting. You know, I, I don't want to learn it right now. I have a skunk in my back backyard. My cat was sprayed by a trunk. Alright, this one is so interesting. I want to learn it. Skunk. Hello guys, so how do I say sprayed in, in Portuguese? I don't know. Eu não sei como se fala isso aqui em português, mas eu sei como se fala em inglês, eu entendo o inglês também, então. Eu, eu só não sei a tradução, né? Mas eu sei. O, eu sei o significado, sei tudo certo. Skunk. Alright, so that's it. Let's move on to another word. So, I'm disgruntled. I didn't even know if I pronounced it correctly. Skunk, shoot you out my butt, butthole, butthole. Alright, I know what it means. So. Alright, let's keep it on. Let's keep it. Let's... I don't know. I'm a married... Marijuana plant, I can get you fucked up. Marijuana, marijuana plant. It is our planet. We love the earth. It is our home. Harney as heck. I understand this, but I don't know what what Harney means. All right, let me look it up. Harney, Harney. What does that What does that mean? Uh, sexual excited. Oh, all right. Sexually attractive. Made of hard substance like harn. Harn. Hard and rough. <laughs> something is not right, something is weird. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Horny as heck. Horny. Alright. I'll learn this word. Alright. Did you know 
what it means? Uh, if you describe someone as horny, you mean that they are sexually aroused or that they easily become sexually aroused. Aroused, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I understand it. Horny adolescents. Boy, I... No, now I got the meaning. Now I got the meaning. Horny. Ar Horny adolescent boys. Horny, horny, horny. Something that is horny, hard, strong, and made of horn or of a hard substance like horn. His fingernails had grown long and horny. Horny. I need more examples. Maybe here I feel horny. I'm gonna get just one more example. Example phrase. Mary is horny. I am horny. Mary is feeling why are always horny. He only calls her when she's feeling horny. Horny. Around, excited, turned on. Alright, there are some nice synonyms here, so I'm going to uh, put them in my Inky cards. These are going to be interesting. That's it. Let's move on. We're just some rhinos, horny as heck. I understand it. Hippity hop. What the hell does that mean? I have no idea. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. I don't know. Hip. Let me type it on Google and see what we get. Hippity hop. Hippity. Hippity. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. I, I, I think that's just something that people say, you know. Hippity hop, intentional mix misuse of them. Hip hop. No. Hippity hop, don't drink beer over so so. Hippity hop. Beer that has lots of herd. Hippity hop. I'm a man that can get you fucked up. Alright, we didn't get anything. Hippity hop, alright, with the hoping movement. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Alright, probably this thing is not something that I'm going to come across very often, so I don't know if it is worth learning it right now. I think I'm just going to skip it. Let me type it one more time. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. Alright, if you know what it means, please let me know in the comments. Etymology. Hippity hop. Moving by hoping. Hippity hop. Proceeding through uneven. Alright, maybe. I still. I got like. I got an idea of what it means, but I'm not pretty sure. So I'm going to skip it. There's no need to, you know, to get stuck in this. I'm a kangaroo. I hop all day, up and down with you. I hop all day. Like maybe hop means, like when the kangaroo jumps and jumps. I don't know <laughs> how they say it in English, but maybe it probably means hop. I hop all day. Hop. Hip hop. A person to move by jump. All right, that's ex that's exactly what I thought. To move by jumping. So hop is 
when the kangaroo moves by jumping, all right? Jumping around and doing stuff. I couldn't put my weight on my ankle and had to hop everywhere. Kids hopping over puddles. Hopping over puddles. Hop. Kids hopping over puddles. Alright, so hop hop to move by jumping with all or both feet together. Now it's clear. A robin was hopping around the path. The frog hopped towards him. Alright, so now I see. Hop. E aí galera, vocês ainda estão comigo aí? O pessoal que fala português? Deixa o um comentário aí se você estiver entendendo, beleza? Hop. So this is basically how I learn English. I mean, I'm not learning English right now because I'm learning Russian. So yeah, I'm just just doing something different. Yeah. Hop. I hop all day up and down with you. I understand. Giddy up. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Giddy up. Giddy up. Have no idea, maybe I don't know. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy how do I type it? D D giddy giddy. Giddy up. Alright, these are the kind of shit that you know, you don't need to know to be fluent, but it's nice to know. Giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up. Oh man, I'm just a freak horse. What the fuck? I'm a clam. Used as a comment to, to a horse to make it go faster. Oh, wow, this is so interesting. Galera, sabe quando você tá montado num cavalo, ou então, sei lá, alguma coisa assim, camelo, cavalo, e aí você quer que o cavalo vá mais rápido? Pra você, sei lá, é, é o som que as pessoas fazem, né? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Pra fazer o cavalo ir mais rápido, aí você grita, giddy up. E nela grita... Giddy up, let's ride. Alright, now I understand it. I'm never going to forget it. It's so emotional to me, so... Because... Just because. Giddy up. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. an, excl an exclamation used to make a horse go faster. An, excl an exclamation used to make a horse go faster. That's interesting. I like it. I like it. Did you know that? Write me in the comments. Escreve nos comentários se você sabia o que significa giddy up. Se você sabia, né? Se você não sabia, agora você sabe. Então, giddy up. Não vou pesquisar, não vou procurar exemplo, nada disso, porque já entendi, beleza? I'm a HPV. Don't let me in. And I sleep all the time, so what it's cute. We love you, Africa. We love you, Chinese. Germany.
Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. I hope it's not a simulation. Huh. Give each other names like Ahmed and Pedro. And yeah, we like to wear clothes. Girls still look beautiful. And it covers up our human dip. Eat a lot of tuna fish. But these days it's like we don't know how to act. All these shootings, pollution. We under attack on ourselves. Like, let's all just chill. Respect what we built. Like, look at the internet. It's cracking as hell. Fellas, don't you let it come on you have sex? And now her women orgasms are better than a dick. So, so what we got is land for? What we got to stand for? Love. And we love the We're cool. I mean, we got all of you. Come on. I don't know. So that's it guys, é isso aí galera, se vocês quiserem ver aqui o vídeo completo, digita aí no YouTube, Earth Song, so you're gonna, Millions in California are dealing with the dangers of extreme... this is the clip, alright? And I am always getting lit. Alright guys, so this is the clip. It is pretty cool, alright? You can watch it anytime on YouTube. So I just I just um, studied the unknown words, alright? So now I understand the whole video. Uh, because I know all the words, alright? So that's it. This is the video. So uh, you can watch my... I mean, let's, let's do it in Portuguese. Então, galera, vocês podem assistir a minha série uh, Desafio Mentalidade de Poliglota, que é uma série onde eu falo sobre o meu método para aprender idiomas. E lá você vai aprender como que se aprende o idioma e como que não se aprende o idioma, beleza? É uma série gra gratuita de quatro vídeos onde eu falo sobre isso. E para o pessoal que estiver perguntando, ah, se você dá aula de inglês, se dá aula de como aprender idiomas, eu explico mais sobre isso lá no, na, no desafio, tá? Então, é isso aí, beleza? Se você quiser saber mais aí sobre aulas de como aprender idiomas, uh, escreve nos comentários ou me manda uma mensagem pessoal lá no Instagram que eu posso te mandar mais informações sobre isso. Então, é só isso, beleza? Meu foco agora não é o inglês, eu tô sem estudar inglês já faz há um ano, mas, como vocês podem ver, eu ainda falo inglês, né? Eu ainda entendo, ainda consigo falar inglês, mas meu foco agora é russo, então eu tô deixando o inglês um pouco de lado. Beleza? Então, espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Me fala aí o que você achou dele, escreve nos comentários. Qualquer sugestão, se vocês querem que eu continue, se vocês querem que eu faça o vídeo 100% em inglês, ou se vocês querem que eu faça, que eu faça o vídeo em inglês e em português, tá? Como eu tô fazendo agora. E é isso, valeu, deixa o um comentário aí, deixa o um like, compartilha com seus amigos que precisam ver isso, que precisam aprender inglês. Se você gostou aqui também da, da música da Terra, né? Deixa o like também aí, valeu e até o próximo vídeo.